All right, moving on, India's National Security Advisor Ajit Doval today held talks with top official of China's ruling CPC, Yang Jiechi, in Shanghai. Doval's second meeting with Yang, the Politburo member of the CPC, comes ahead of several key dialogues between the two countries, which are trying to reset the ties after the last year's 73-day-long standoff on the Doklam Plateau. Both diplomats held talks on the border issue. Now, since December, the two sides are trying to iron out differences on the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, or CPEC, India's entry into the nuclear suppliers group of NSG, and China blocking the efforts to designate Jashim Mohammed Chief Masood Azhar as a terrorist by the United Nations. Now, the two countries are preparing for a series of high-level interactions leading up to Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to China for the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit in the month of June. All right, joining me on the phone line from New Delhi is my colleague Siddhant Sibal. Good morning, Siddhant. What can we expect from the Doval Yang talks in Shanghai? Can we expect a reset going forward? Well, we can expect uh, some kind of forward movement. Uh, we, uh, though there hasn't been a release, uh, hasn't been a release given by the MEA. We actually don't expect a release coming out uh, with uh, this uh, visit. But uh, one thing is for sure, but there are a lot of high-level visits expected to China with the. the of India and the Foreign Minister of India visiting China. The Foreign Minister will be visiting uh, from 21st to 23rd of uh, this month and the Defence Minister is also expected to visit around that time uh, uh, to China. And of course, uh, then as you have already told our viewers, uh, the Prime Minister of India will be visiting uh, China for the SEO summit. Uh, this comes at a time when uh, there will be military exercises in Russia in which uh, all the uh, SEO countries will be participating uh, including India and Pakistan for the first time. And uh, let me tell you that it, it will be for the first time that the Indian and Pakistani troops will be taking part in military exercises together uh, under the banner of SEO. So pretty much a lot of developments. But of course, uh, India-China reset perhaps because we have seen after Doklam, both the sides are engaging with each other. Last year in December, the RIC Russia-India-China summit took place in New Delhi. Uh, after that, there have been a number of positive uh, uh, vibes at least from both the sides. Uh, though there were stories, uh, of course, regarding Dalai Lama, that uh, uh, there were there were uh, circulars from the government of India of uh, uh, high-level officers and ministers not to participate uh, in uh, in his events. But uh, even though there was a big event, a uh, thank you India event in 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 uh, um, Dharamshala in which uh, there were uh, the ministers of government of India participating. So pretty much a lot of developments happening when it comes to India-China ties. Right. So as Siddhant pointed out, uh, Doval's visit is one of many that's been planned over the next few days, including that by the foreign and defense ministers of India to China. On that note, Siddhant, thank you for joining me on this bulletin.